Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today we have a very special video from one of our moderators, Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader in MIC. And today he's doing a daily recap on ticker symbol QCOM, which is a large cap, that's QCOM, and MBIO, which is a small cap trade recap. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey everybody, Austin here, back for another trade recap, but before I do, I want to say I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so today I made a couple trades, um, uh, both of them good in my opinion, but one winner and one loser. Um, I traded MBIO, the kind of the big, the, the big tanker of the day, and QCOM, and I want to go over uh, both of them. One of them's a large cap, one of them's a small cap. I've been trying to branch into large caps a little bit more lately, so it's a good kind of example for that for people who are also trying to do the same. Um, so I, I want to go into the first trade was MBIO. I, I traded it right kind of kind of right off the gate, and before the day started, like MBIO was gapping up. It, it gapped up after hours yesterday, and it and it put in some huge range, right? Like it put in huge range. Like when this news came out that their gene therapy was supposed to, um, that their gene therapy was. Do, yielded very positive results for the bubble boy uh, disease um, or a problem I'm not sure exactly what it is but it, it put in some insane range like from 7 to 12 uh, after hours yesterday and um, that told me that it was going to be a runner today so I had it on watch today immediately right when I woke up pre-market I, I located shares as I always do if I can and um, then I I check out the float the the news uh, the the float the news and the daily levels like I always do. So the levels that I was watching um, were the most recent relative levels I was watching was this easily identified six thirty level, six dollar level from over here, uh, and those are the downside levels. And I didn't really see much levels on the on the on the upside um, on the to the upside on the daily chart. So I really looked. Um, for the pre-market as the most relevant information. And I saw $10, it's a whole whole number psychological level uh, right over here, and $12 was the top of after hours yesterday. So I'm like, okay, if this thing spikes out of the open, I wanna be looking for, to see how 10 or 12 reacts. And if this thing tanks out of the gate, I'm kinda of looking for 6.30 and six to see how they, those react. And I was looking, to, I think I shorted QCOM yesterday into this uh, push over here. And looking at the daily, um, QCOM is up on like Apple Pat, Apple lawsuit news, which seems to be like their only news. Um, but yeah, it's up. It was up big on Apple news, and uh, the idea yesterday behind the short was that it was up too much. But um, I was really expecting it to roll over yesterday, and it kind of didn't. It held up, and we were holding up pretty good at the open too. So I'm like, this might catch some people off guard. And I want to go into this trade too. So that was the mentality going into um, QCOM. My idea was that it was going to push 280 and possibly retest that 82 level. And I wanted to kind of be in before that and have locked some in before the 82, um, the 80, 82 retest, and and potentially hold trail some if I can for later. But I should have known going in that like my patience. This is a non-niche trade for me. I'm not. I'm not the best large cap trader in the world. You know, like I'm. I'm still kind of new at it. So like, trying to have patience on a large cap trade for me is non-niche. So having patience on a non-niche trade for me is very tough. And I and you can see I kind of lost patience here, but I'm still happy with this trade. Uh, I, I I let it trade for a while at the open. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.